You know what to do. You know what the score is. He's trying again. He's gonna keep trying. Fight a fight, start a war, what does it matter? Maybe people will be afraid and then they can keep they can keep power, like you know, if he starts a war with Iran, maybe people will want to be like, hey, you know, look, uh you know, well, he's got this war going, maybe we should just let him stay in power, because, you know, you don't want to change your power when you started a war. So that might be a good, you know, and if the guy, you go in and say, hey, what are my options for a war with Iran? And they say, they have no options. Then you fire him, and you bring in a guy that can give you options for a war with Iran. I mean, that's what you do in any kind of business, and Trump's a businessman, so he knows, you know, you're fired. You're fired. I'm getting, I'm, war, war, Iran, I, China, China, you're fired, you know, so this is what's going to happen, and, and so I, I, you shouldn't be surprised, I don't, I don't know why you're surprised, I'm not surprised, uh, we'll see if he can really pull it off, you know, maybe he does this stuff just to piss off liberals, you know, maybe he just plans to spend the next 75 days just doing every little thing that he can to make liberals go more insane than the virus already has. Did you see this? That the virus, one in five people that had the effects of the virus are showing mental illness. I mean, this is going to do us in as if Americans aren't mentally ill, mentally Ill enough. But what are we doing here? You know, so I think it's it's really telling. Um, you know, you really get, get what's coming to you sometimes. And we've really, we've really done a number on ourselves in the way we've allowed our society to grow into this sort of out of control monster. You know, and so I, I think that we're going to have to wait. You know, what, what if that's true? What if, like, one in five people suffer some sort of mental issue because of this virus? There's no precedent for that. I mean, the Spanish flu, a lot of people died, but pe the shit went on, you know. We're barely able to govern ourselves as it is. We barely treat, treat each other, even remotely decency, decently, and we're still somewhat more or less sane. I mean, what happens if it just continues to fly off the rails? I mean, what, what do we do? How do we manage it? Um, what's going to be left? I mean, we don't have anybody that's even barely competent running the country now. What's going to happen when everybody in turns out to be nuts because they all caught a virus in the 2000s? You know, what happens? Do we have to wait for it to shake out? You know, we need another two and a half generations before we have sane enough people. I mean, what the hell's going to happen? How do we survive that? You tell me. I don't know if there's any answer to it. If I thought I had any answers, I'll tell you what, I'd publish a column or something. Well, they don't do it now, you start a blog, right? Then you do a video blog, you know, and you, you put up, you do little short videos on YouTube about going hiking with your ex-girlfriend, and you know, you guys are still cool, because you know, you're, 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 you're hip like that, you know? Nowadays, people are hip like that. They, you go hiking, and you do all that stuff, hot yoga, you know, all those kind of things, cleanse, and you know, paleo diet, retro paleo. Whatever your thing is, man, that's how people do it. And you got it all, and so what does it even matter what happens with the government or the country, whatever? You go to your protests, and then you go back to your regular thing. You know, your kale chips, and your, you know, your uh, quinoa, quinoa bowls, and your fucking, uh, all that kind of stuff. So, you know what's going to happen. We've all seen it. We've been around. There's nothing new. So you just write another one on the board, just make, put another mark on the wall, you know, you're up to however many you're up to, and it just keeps going, you know, and every day you wake up, you count another mark on the wall, you put another mark on the wall, you know what, it's worth it, that's what you got left, just put another mark on the wall, that's what we're all doing, man, the more marks on the wall you can get, the better off you are, so you just, you just keep getting on up and marking that wall, you put your mark, you pick up your stone, Another five, six, seven, eight, 23, 24, 95, 97. You keep marking that wall. You scribe your mark. Five by five by five by five. Count them the way you count them. Stand up and be counted. Count them the way you count them. Five by five. It's five by five on the wall, and you're getting up every morning. Stare the sun in the face. Five by five, make your marks. A privilege denied many. Wake your wake, mark your mark. That's five by five. And you keep keeping on. 
five by five. Stay alive. Stay alive, folks.